What is up guys, HF Masters here, and today we are back with another Bionicle Summer 2016 review, and this time it is on Lava Beast. Ages 7 to 14, item number 71313, and it consists of 114 pieces. On the back, just shows off a combiner which has all of the beasts and Umarak the Destroyer. Alright, so here is Lava Beast all built up, and I'm just going to quickly take a, uh, just a quick look at his functions. Obviously, we first have the swivel function. This is the 2016 gimmick. And Lava Beast has these wings, it's what they call them, and all they do is just move through this gear. You could also use the smaller gear but I just prefer to use the bigger one. The only issue with the bigger one is that it would be inverted. So if you want to go toward this area, you would have to spin it toward the kind of like arm. That's the only thing with the big gear that might be confusing. Just taking a quick look at the legs, you can obviously see that the legs are pretty solid. The only kind of complaint that people are gonna have is just this whole like area over here. Nobody really likes this. It's just so weird. It's it doesn't fit with the color scheme and it makes the legs just kind of look really scrawny and skinny compared to the bulky upper torso area. Taking a quick look at his body and arms for the body obviously there's not much to going on. You just have this printed piece along with the rib cage. For the arms there isn't a lot going on as well. The only kind of like play value you have is of course the wings and then you can move like his claw things around but that isn't really too much. Of course there is this new piece, this like spiky kind of, I'm not really sure what you would call it, kind of like crystal piece. And it's pretty cool. It does help give him a uh, really bulky kind of look for his upper torso. But yeah, that's pretty much it for his torso. For the back, there isn't a lot happening. They did do a decent job trying to cover it up, but there is still some, you know, like points where you can see the torso and some may not like that. I know that that was a complaint that a lot of people had. And then there is just part of the shadow trap and it's just kind of there. I, I don't know why it's there, but they just put it there. It's, it's interesting. And here is Lava Beast's head. Obviously, you know, there isn't too much going on. You have the standard kind of like beast uh, piece, head piece that they've been, that they're using for all the beasts along with the jaw. My only complaint with the head is that the jaw is stuck in this position. You, you kind of can move it, but not too much. It would look um, much cooler if you could have it uh, closed up. And of course they do have that, uh, you know, push down function, however it works better if you push the jaw up. And obviously you can see the trans neon yellow or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. You can just see the head. Lastly, we're just going to take a quick look at the mask that comes in this set. It is the Tahu 2016 mask with just uh, some trans yellow on. This mask does not fit on Lava Beast due to him having some extra stuff on his head. So it's kind of like a useless thing. Alright, and here is the mask on Tahu. Now obviously, it does look like he's infected. The trans yellow just does not fit in with the color scheme, which is a good thing. But yeah, that is pretty much it for Lava Beast. Now obviously, there is, you know, some play features, but there isn't too much going on. This set would probably be better if you did get uh, another set for him to battle, but this set still has a lot of play value to it. Of course, it does come with the, you know, complimentary mask, and the mask really doesn't do much. Just kind of there, can't even fit on him. But overall, this is a pretty good set, and for its price, I would say it's worth it. It has some great play value, and it has some good pieces for mockers. 
But that is pretty much it for my review on Lava Piece Beast. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section below. And until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.